ça. We managed to catch up with the man from New Orleans, Prosecutor George Bailey Raft. He will be working with the Regional Police Department, the 7th District. I don't understand why. Can't they just tell me what classes to take? Why do I have to decide? The 7th is the mayor's way of dealing with crime in this region. So we'll be having special cases all over the city. Lieutenant Foster is actually here at the 7th. I'm just there to lend a hand. Watching me or yourself. Would you define special cases? Last night, a woman was brutally raped and murdered. Her body so disfigured, it can't be identified. Is that a special case? Mamá, Catalina, ¿dónde está mamá? ¿Por qué hay tanto ruido? No, da igual, pásame a mamá, por favor. Mamá, soy Teresa. No, espera, no pasa nada. Sí. Soy policía. Estoy tratando casos, ya lo sabes. No, no te estoy llamando por esa razón. ¿Por qué piensas que siempre tengo que sacar información? Solo quiero oír tu voz. ¿Mamá? ¿Mamá? Catalina, dile a mamá que deje de beber. Your city is number one in poverty. Should be number one in crime too. I cannot keep using like a desk, honey. I need some more bad. So you can put them away. I mean, you do fight for truth, justice in the American way. You need to cut that out. Oh, come on! You know I'm a smart ass. What well, smart ass? I need to find me someone special. I know someone special. So what do you think? I'm going to get my car, girl. Well, look at me. Get up. I gave her the ring for her birthday. It has a homing device in it. I thought it would be good for her to have. 
Well, I almost forgot about it till yesterday when I was sitting in a room. I do that a lot. What's the range on this thing? 20 miles. It's got a built-in interface with my laptop so you can track it. A GPS would work. We have one at the station. This should help. I hope so. How do you feel since her disappearance? We miss, we miss Janet a lot. I'm sorry, Janet? Her name is Julia Magnus. So where are the cameras? Are we going to be on TV? When are we going to be on TV? No, no, no. This is an internet news show. Do you even know this girl, Julia? It's on the internet? No. Yes, it is on the internet. We will continue to provide you updates on this story with further and future interviews of fellow classmates. Here at the Cleveland Breaking News, we are providing you with continual coverage on the kidnapping of Julio Magnus. To continue that coverage, we will provide you another interview with a fellow classmate, Miss Summer Hunt. Now, you seem a bit ambivalent to this situation, yet at one point, you were very close to Julia. However, uh, did this change when she began dating your boyfriend? I am sad she's gone. I didn't want him anyways. I'm going to be a famous actress soon. Very soon. Thank you for continuing to join us. We have another classmate of Julia's. Miss Patricia Mills, who is actually Julia's closest friend. You know, I'm the only one who knew her, you know. All these other kids come in here and they don't even know what they were talking about. We went to grade school together and I, I'm really the only one who even knew her family. Like, we had dinner together. You know, this year she wanted to be a doctor, but last year she wanted to be a stockbroker. Can you imagine her being, like, a stockbroker? You know, the police were always bothering her. They, Especially when her grandfather was in trouble, they'd, they'd come into lunch with like their guns and their uniforms and just pull her out of class and we'd just be talking and all of a sudden they would come up and put their hands on her shoulders and just take her out to uh, God knows what. <sighs> I think they have her. you are. But you've been calling and calling for the last hour. Do you know what calling in sick means? Give me half hour to get dressed. Damn right you do. Oh, I'm so used to bringing Detective Storm and you your favorites. Yeah, don't worry about it. 
So where's your new partner? I'd like to know that too. supposed to be taking care of special cases. I don't want to be cruel, but... You? Cruel? No. So what's so special about some missing brat, anyways? It's not the brat, it's who she belongs to. Philip Magnus. Philip Magnus. Mm -hmm. I used to hear stories about him when I was a little kid. Dad ever mentioned him? I said. I heard you. But you don't like it? I like it. It's just that I remember she used to like them. So is this where we hang out, partner? So what is Philip Magnus like? He'll be on the news tonight. I'm check out a couple of leads on this missing little girl. Everybody and their mama's calling up for leads. They sneak by reward. <laughs> Rich bitch missing. <laughs> Your partner Jessica called. You're my partner. You got a key. He's keeping hot enough in here. Mm. I like the keys. It's a miracle you don't drop that. <sighs> Look! Drew told me you got some leads on this Magnus girl. or rip your f*** out. Jessica, I'm so sorry. That's okay, detective. I got some new moves. Phew. At the Cleveland breaking news, our hearts go out to Philip Magnus, whose granddaughter was snatched on her way to school yesterday morning. 
The Magnus family is worth untold millions, but prefer to be silent partners in the companies in this city, which is why Philip Magnus's granddaughter went to a public school. Mr. Magnus, do you feel responsible for letting her go to public school? My advisors are right. You are quite a bitch. But to answer your question, all I ever wanted was for her to be a normal kid. She has plenty of friends at school. And most people, most people don't even know who her grandfather is. We hear that District 7 will be working on searching for her. How successful do you think they'll be? I don't know. I don't know. Well, why no Amber Alert? Do you think maybe she just ran away? <sighs> this morning, Star, I gotta go. Wait, just one more question. We'll bring you continual coverage on the story of Julia Magnus. I must say we all had our doubts, but it appears the seventh pulled through. The city of Cleveland owes a great debt of service to the officers of the seventh district, and especially to prosecutor George Bailey Raft. I have to go to my office now. You promised to take me shopping. Listen. We're two minutes from my office, and I gotta go to work. Listen, in life, your life, I come first, and I, and I gotta go to my office. I want to go shopping now. My fellow, you really want to be talking camera how you want to take a shot. Maybe I cried today, Lieutenant Foster. Yo, I hope you remember that, Lieutenant. The little girl's safe. And we got the Magnus Ring to thank for it. Yeah, I... Yeah, what? Uh, uh, Lieutenant, that's the mayor calling. Yeah, I'm supposed to have dinner with her. All right.
This case just keeps getting more bizarre by the moment. Julia Magnus was so traumatized by her abduction that she shot her grandfather. Next week, we have an in-depth talk with the brave officers of the 7th District and prosecutor George Bailey Raft. It's sad this story didn't have a happy ending, but sometimes life doesn't have happy endings. Everything isn't always black and white in the real world. Good night, Cleveland. Hello? Oh. Lieutenant Foster. Any updates on Julia Magnus? Her plane is missing. She owns a plane. Well, and she could be anywhere, right?